Hey guys and gals, got another one for you today. Today I'm in my Kronwagen platooned up with Jeruski. We're on Scorpion Pass Standard Battle. And Kronwagen, I think I'd like to say it's my second favorite tier 10 heavy tank behind the IS-7. Um, I like it because it's kind of a challenge. It's definitely not like overpowered in any sort of way. Um, but it it's mobile like a medium tank, but it's got turret armor like a heavy tank. And it's got nice gun depression, so ridge lines are this thing's wheelhouse. You see I run large repair kit, 105 octane, and then coffee. And the reason being is to really just maximize this thing's mobility and make it feel more like a medium tank than an actual heavy tank. Now to me you can use this as like a flanker, you can use it as a support heavy, um, you can use it as a front liner in the right map like Paris uh, where it's got the piles of rubble where you can get hull down, um, but any time you're like flat ground on this it's disadvantage because the hull armor is not that great. Alright so we catch an IS-7 out sideways, get three out of four shells there to penetrate. Drewski's beside me. Apparently some tank drove up beside us and shot him in the side which he wasn't too thrilled about and I wouldn't have been either. Got a T-30 there. Just give me some shells. The Kronwagen's DPM is not good and the inner clip reload is not good. So there's a lot of things that aren't good about this um, but when everything's working in unison and you really get the feel for this tank, then it really becomes an awesome tank. Or maybe I'm just a, a psycho. I don't know, maybe. I won't argue that. <clears throat> Alright, so we come over here because my team's starting to push out the one line. These guys are starting to turn their attention, so I feel like I'm able to get some shells out here. Get a shot into the Chieftain, and the 704 breaks my gun. I don't really want to spend 20,000. Uh, I do have a good crew in this, a uh, good repair crew. So they fixed the gun. Drewski went down there. Um, he said he didn't realize how many tanks they actually had back there and how many of them could actually just turn around and deal with him with all of our team being on the one line. So fortunately we lose him. And that's one thing you can't do in the Kronwagen. You just, you can't all in people unless you know that you can clip them and they don't have any help then you're able to do that so we catch the 705's track there it's a nice shot and then we're going to be able to get another shell here and we fully aim but <clears throat> since my gun's broken we're unable to put him down still choose not to fix it because I feel like it's almost game over um, and I really don't need to spend 20,000 silver. But my team is taking their time, so that's going to allow me to get one more clip here. Alright, so we get them through the drive wheel. Get the second shell. You can see how slow it is to get in between shells there. There's another chieftain right here. Get the first shell in. And then get the second shell to take both chieftains out right there. And is my team going to allow me to clip up one more time? we got the mouse pushing in. And my team starts to make their advance, so I'm really not interested. Like, I'm the mobile tank right here, so I need to go back to my cap. So many times on this map, there'll be the red team has a big zero line push. And they cap us out because we've gotten so far away. Um, from our base that they can just cap us up so if it feels like this choke is already won then in your mobile you should go back to your base even though there's some damage to be had um, you can lose the base if you go chase that damage now the depressing thing is when you leave like a 5v2 to go defend the base and then the, your five guys all die and you're left with two reds coming to flank you while you're trying to defend the base. In this situation, my team succeeds. And now I got a minute 24. They only have one on. So if I go down there right now, they have a Death Star and 
can't remember what the medium is. But if the Death Star is on Overwatch, which is what I'm thinking, like if I'm red, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually wind that back. First of all, I would have put both tanks on the cap, but since they only have one on, I feel like the Death Star is on Overwatch and it's down to a minute. But I still have time, and then all of a sudden the second tank goes on. So we have 25 seconds. I'm trying to buy my team enough time to get back. Because I figure if I get one shot by the Death Star and I don't get hit the right guy or I miss my shot, then I mean it's gonna be over anyways, right? So the Death Star misses his shot, which allows me to get a shell into him, and then I switch my attention to the other guy, shut him down. And then we're going to see if we can lock his track in place. And he just stops and makes a turning maneuver there. Um, but since I bought myself enough time, my team got down there, helped me destroy him. Nice result. 5,500 damage, 2,000 assisted, 1150 blocked. And that's why I love the Kronwagen. Ridgeline Warrior, Ace Tanker, Defender Metal. Yeah, just love that thing. I'll quit babbling. That's all I got for you guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video.